Hi, I'm Tommy, and I'm a professional paleontologist. By day, I use the latest data science techniques to reconstruct ecological and evolutionary changes from the fossil record. But by night, I investigate cryptids, the paranormal, mediumship, the occult, politics, history, philosophy, and even God himself. You know, all the things that good little scientists are supposed to avoid. If you want to join me on my journey, friend, be so kind as to like and subscribe. And welcome to Creepy Puppets Presents. Hey, it's uh, Tommy here. I still have a little bit of this head cold that has been sticking around. And also, my arm is still a little bit screwed up. But I want to do sort of the penultimate video that I had planned in my Autism Awareness Month series that, you know, now got pushed into Pride Month. So, uh, you know, we'll, we'll be talking about pride probably in at least one video this month. But I wanted to talk right now about the discrimination that autistic scientists face uh, in the academic community. Uh, in particular, when it comes to autistic scientists doing research on autism. You know, it seems like uh, the, the neurotypical researchers have a very set framework for what autism is and really don't want to add the perspective of someone who actually is autistic and therefore can, can offer, you know, a more accurate insight uh, on the condition, you know, uh, the idea that, that, you know, we might know more about the condition than someone who is not autistic. So that autism mom attitude gets carried over into academia a lot. Now, in my video that I did on why I am a postmodernist, I talked about how, you know, in these studies of how bad ABA is, there were no autistic researchers doing these studies. And I was actually incorrect on that. I have since found out that Dr. Henny Kupferstein, the author of the PTSD study, is herself autistic. And she has a YouTube channel, which I will link to below. You know, a lot of the research that she has done has been heavily criticized for what is essentially just, you know, nonsense. You read the criticisms and they're like, well, she assumed that uh, ABA was abusive and that was in the nature of her question. And like, yeah. But a simple Google search would have shown that. So it, it's just, you know, ab absurd criticisms for the sake of criticism. And I believe that the discrimination that she has faced is uh, bound up in this ableist attitude. So I wanted to briefly recount my personal experience with bias against autistic people and also, you know, in particular in autism research. So I had a colleague of mine who was doing research into autism and uh, he was looking at verbal reasoning. So, so a, a long-term statistical relationship It's one of these bioinformatics projects where we're looking at um, the genes in autism and relating those to genes in other people with um, speech delay, and, you know. So when he was talking, going through his proposal with me, uh, you know, because we, we talked about our ideas and, you know, try to get, you know, typically you're not supposed to ask people outside your committee, but of course all grad students do that. We bounce ideas off of each other all the time. And I said, well, I can see, and, and I hadn't revealed to him at my point that I'm autistic yet. And I, I tell him, well, so one of the problems I see with the study is that lots of all autistic people aren't speech delayed. And also, some, some autistic people have incredibly advanced uh, speech development. Um, so, they, you know, not just are speaking on time, have no speech delay, but are speaking at a level well above what they should be. Um, you know, I'm, I'm curious how you're going to adjust your, your protocol to account for that because you might be missing something. And he says, well, that's a good question. So anyway, flash forward to his actual proposal. We're sitting in the auditorium. It's the end of the semester. It, it's hot. 
and I ask my question. And uh, he, and so he, you know, gave the answer we talked about. Um, and then, because he, he was, it was biology, right? But we had, he had people on his committee from speech and language pathology department. And one of these ladies gets up, doesn't know that I'm autistic, um, and says, you know, basically to my face, but to him, you know, well, all autistic people have delay in pragmatic speech, that that's by definition. And, uh, I mean, that's not actually correct. So there have been studies on what's called the double empathy hypothesis, which says that, uh, you know, autistic people are just as capable of interacting with people who are also autistic. So at the same level. Uh, we're not really speech delayed in terms of in pragmatic speech in terms of social interactions. It's just that, you know, we can socially interact with each other just fine. It's when we try to talk to the normies that things get complicated. And, you know, the, the normies are just as bad as uh, at relating to us. So if you were to measure uh, speech in a more autism friendly way, well, you could just say, well, ah, you know, the normies are speech delayed when it comes to understanding autistic people. You didn't address my question because we're talking about general speech delay, number one. And number two, I'm in the room. As far as she knew, I'm just, uh, you know, another neurotypical researcher. But I talked about uh, autism from a bit of knowledge that happened to come from internal experience. And that was not acceptable to the supposed expert. And, you know, imagine how much more she would have been, like, apoplectic if, I, if she knew uh, that I was autistic. So, yes, there is a tremendous amount of ableism in science, but especially when it comes to uh, autistic researchers themselves trying to do research into autism, or really any field, but it's, it's definitely bad, you know, in that area. A struggle that autistic scientists face in the field of science, especially when it comes to defining ourselves. And so that's one of the critiques I made in that postmodernism video, that, defining, that in defining ourselves, we are not allowed near the science. That's it for right now, folks. Take care.